uh, I have no idea whether I'm any good or, you know, there's a lot of doubt in the beginnings when you, uh, and in the laters as well, about whether your works are, you know, good or not. Um, but it's not about my work anymore, it's about the relationship, and I'm, I'm confident in relationships now. But I'm now creative director of United Artists Records, and I get a phone call uh, from some producer to say, Mick Jagger would like you to shoot their next album, uh, which was fabulous, you know, because at that point, your career was cemented. You either shot the Beatles or you shot the Rolling Stones, and that was the prize. So I had to go to the president of United Artists and say, Atlantic Records has called me, and since I'm work for hire for United Artists, I can't do it. Uh, could I resign for a week? <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and he said, you know, listen, he said, I'm proud that our guy is the one that the Rolling Stones want to work with. Yeah, please take it. So um, I, I told them, yeah, I'm available. And they said Mick had seen the ballet russe coming down the ramp of a, 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 an airplane because they were um, uh, they were escaping Russia because of the, the oppression, uh, and Mick had uh, come up with the idea because they had left England because of the taxes, and they went to France right. to do Exile on Main Street. And he, he got the idea. Well, I'd like to show us coming down the ramp of a of a ship because we're um, I don't know what 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 do you call it uh, when people run away from a country. And, Exile. Exile. Yeah. So they were exiling themselves from England. They didn't want to play taxes, so they paid, play, paid taxes. <clears throat> they did the album in France, and um, so he said, "Well, let's shoot in the docks." And I said, "I'm not taking the Rolling Stones to Long Beach in L.A. We'll have a riot." You know. Mm -hmm. what I mean? So what we did was we uh, built a set. And so I got my crew and we built the set on a stage in, in, uh, in, in one of the Hollywood stages. And this, as I said, the session started at um, midnight. Mm -hmm. And so my crew, we had a build in one day. Uh, uh, oh, oh, you don't have that shot. So yeah, the, uh, the shot of Exile on Main Street. You just got the individuals. But anyway, if you look at it, it's, it's shot against uh, the background of the boat. And um, the other thing is, if you're going to be a photographer of the Rolling Stones, you've got to come up with what they call a Rolling Stones moment. It can't just be a shot. Something outside the box has got to happen. And so we started at midnight. And my crew had been drinking uh, gallons of cheap wine all day. And, you know, I'm going, mm, I'm wondering how I'm going to handle this. And the door opens and Mick comes in, but he doesn't walk there. He comes in and puts his back against the wall and he kind of walks along the wall and I realized, okay, we're, we're fine. Uh, he was so loaded, but anyway, he was wonderful. Oh, you found that? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> okay, there it is. Mm. Oh. Okay, so here's what happened. He starts shooting mm -hmm. and um, you know, you, you, you always, as I said, you go into the unknown of it, and you're not pre if you preconceive an idea, you're already no longer creative, because creative has to be innovative out of the unknown. Mm -hmm. And a preconception means that you've done something that you've, you've got in your mind from the past. Mm -hmm. So I'm shooting and shooting, and it's like nothing happening. And uh, all these girls were people that worked in my studio, and we decided to do a period piece, and she was like the one next to Mick. And I can see her getting her thought there, I think it's time to engage you. <laughs> and she turns around spontaneously and decides to kiss him. <laughs> and um, they slip. <laughs> <laughs> and they fall. And I had my Rolling Stones moment. Whoa, and, um, nice. What was interesting is I uh, had this funky old Nikon camera that they didn't have uh, motor drives at that point. And, you know, for every shot you had to, and also my camera was so fucked up, I had to, I had to cock it twice, like, you know, not once. Somehow, I, I shot like one of these current cameras that just fire, and I got every step of the thing. So this, yeah. we, we decided not to put it on the cover, and what we did in the original um, Rolling Stones album 
This was made into a concertina, you know, when you get these travel postcards that says Vienna, you know, and you can tear them off and send them off. We put those in the albums, and it was great because everyone who bought the album went cool and they tore a, a thing off and they wrote to somebody. So it became oh, cool. like a viral uh, uh, campaign. Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, that was that. Wow. That's great. That's great. Thank you.